Right, there's a few tips that you might want to take into consideration while bream fishing, uh, and they can, you know, these can make quite a difference in the catch rate. Uh, the first one would be uh, recasting regularly. Even if you're not catching fish, you know, you've had no bites at all, keep recasting. Every 15 or 20 minutes, keep the feeders going out, keep the bait going out, and chances are they will move in at some point throughout the day and you'll start the catch. The next thing you might like to take into consideration is the hook length length. Now, a lot of anglers will probably start off with a hook length around six to eight inches, um, which is all well and good. Uh, but when the fish are, you know, they're more finicky uh, and they're picking up baits a lot more delicately, a longer hook length will then come into its own. Sweet corn, as a bait, I wouldn't leave home without. You, you know, you've always got to have some of that while you're brewing fishing. Um, Pellets, again, absolutely fantastic. You know, they you know, contain a high level of oil, uh, which your bream love. You know, they're, they're quite fishy, so, you know, they're brilliant. Also, lots of different flavours of the dumbbells from Chapel Bates. Um, you know, they're, they're quite soft, but they go on the hair really, really well. Um, another little tip, when hair rigging these, it's always good to use a really fine baiting needle rather than you know anything you don't nothing too big because you'll end up splitting them so really fine rather than really fat accuracy is also very key now you can overcome that problem uh, by many ways one of which is using the line clip on the reel now if you use that you're going to be hitting the same distance every time and direction well that's easy just look on the far bank and pick something that's not going to move, like a tree or a building, something that's going to be there all the time. And then you can keep casting, you'll be hitting the clip, going in the right direction, and your bait's going to be landing in exactly the same place every time. Also, using the spawn. These are very, very accurate, even in high winds, cross winds or even winds coming into your face. Baiting up with particle can be, you know, it can be deadly. You know, with lots of small, small items like the hemp and the corn and stuff, it gets in the bottom. Uh, and, and when the fish do come in the area, they stay in the area. You know, they keep rooting around in the bottom for it, and they'll stay there a lot longer than if you used to put big baits out, like boilies or big pellets and things like that. Mm -hmm.